I, 18-year-old female, am a cashier at a grocery store in my town. This afternoon, we had a large group of people come in together. Turns out they were extreme couponing. For anyone unaware of this, it's basically people who clip coupons and shop for a shit ton of groceries and they hope to pay as little as possible. We see couponers all the time, but I've never seen anyone go as crazy as this family did. So basically the mom had hundreds of coupons and she didn't bring any money because she thought it would, if she didn't bring money, it would encourage her to do her best and get her groceries for free. Eventually she finished shopping and she had about six carts full of stuff. My manager shut my lane down and helped me bag and then we started ringing. We get to the end and I'm ringing in the coupons when I get an error message on my screen that says my POS, point of sales, reached the maximum number of coupons for the transaction. So my manager avoided the transaction and we started again and tried to keep each each group items together, but we kept having the issue with the coupons. We even tried multiple transactions, but my store only had five registers and there were people waiting to check out and we couldn't get the coupons to go through properly. So the lady yeah. just decided she didn't want to get anything after all and wouldn't be buying anything in her cart. Her total after tax before coupons was $789.78. There were roughly 500 items listed on her receipt per diem. The rule at my store is if a customer decides not to buy something at the register, oh. then the cashier has to put it all back before they can go home. I had been at work since 5 a.m. and I was scheduled to leave at noon. Uh, I had to put everything back and I didn't get off work until about 30 minutes ago. Anyway, when she said she wasn't going to buy anything after all, I had a visceral reaction and said to her, are you fucking serious? <laughs> I have to put all this back by myself. The customer started bitching, so did her her group. My manager got in my face, and I think the phrase lazy brat got thrown around. I guess her parents think that she was wrong, that she shouldn't have said anything to the customer. But her coworkers are like, nah, fuck that bitch. As per my NDA, I am not allowed to discuss this position with former employers. Since my firing is effective immediately, you are now a former employer. Gather round as I tell you the story of the time I got fired at the worst place I have ever worked. From day one, it was a nightmare. There was zero onboarding or training. I was simply given the login info for a couple of different websites and told to get to work. This company planned large conferences and I was in charge of speaker coordination. I was the only person in this role. The information solely resided with me. Not a big deal, I say to myself. I'm good at thinking on my feet. I'll just ask questions when I need clarification on something. That turned out to be impossible. I once asked if she had time to hop on a call and explain something to me, and she responded with, she needed me to be self-sufficient. Regardless, I did my best in the position. Small mistakes happened here and there, but overall the speakers were very happy and felt well supported. I struggled on the communication with my manager, but I thought the company was happy with my work. Until four months in, when I was randomly pulled into a meeting with my manager, HR, and legal, Effective immediately, I was fired. I asked why was I being fired, and since this was the first time I had heard of any problems, why wasn't there a write-up or a verbal warning? My manager said it was because the 10 minutes I ran the analytics, it takes me to respond to an email was too slow. That was a bullshit reason, and we all knew it. To be honest, I was furious. We do the exit interview with HR, and she asks me to send over any documents I had and describe where I was at in regards to our next event and our speakers. As per my NDA, I am not to discuss intimate details or share documents relating to this position with any employer, past or future. Since this firing was effective immediately, you are now a former employer and I am bound by my NDA. HR hemmed and hawed a little bit, telling me that of course I could speak to them about it. This was about their event. I pulled out my copy of the NDA and pointed out the exact clause and said that it clearly stated that if I violated this NDA, I would be sued. So no, I can't talk to you about it. HR turned to legal and legal pointed out that I was technically correct. Apparently the event was a shit show and my manager nearly lost her job because of it. All because I take too long to respond to emails. Am I the asshole for secretly signing up my brother-in-law for spam mail and emails whenever he pisses me off? My husband is an identical twin. When we first started dating, he said it was very important to him to have a relationship with his brother. He never questioned it and always supported them having a friendship. We were all friends and in the same program in college until my husband and I got engaged. He would call my husband multiple times throughout the day, would text him nonstop and would even get mad at me or him if he didn't answer when we were together. It became very clear to me that his brother had an extremely dependent relationship on my husband. When we got married, I asked my husband to set some boundaries with his brother after he called multiple times while we were... My husband agreed and he was starting to get really tired of his constant interruptions as well. This is what began World War III. 
anytime he was with his brother, he would constantly tell him how controlling I was, how I didn't really care about him, and I was forcing him into a relationship. My husband, for the most part, ignored him, and we moved on. Even when we had our children, he would constantly blame our children for my husband not wanting to hang out with him anymore. We spend the next six years with him constantly trying to break us up, whining about his relationship and mooching off of anyone he can. He also treated his wife like crap. She finally got the courage to leave him and invited me over after they had split. Then she proceeds, proceeds to tell me that the main reason she divorced him was because he had been cheating on her their entire relationship. And she had proof. Everyone oh in their family God. lets him get away with it. And no one ever came first. So he's always getting away with shit. Uh, no one ever comes for him because if you do, then he throws a fit. And then the whole family will get mad at you. So I took it into my own hands. Every week or so, or any time he annoys me, I sign him up for a free catalog, spam email, an embarrassing pamphlet. My personal favorite, a magazine subscription to Cheaters Recovery Programs. After a pretty terrible family dinner, I was feeling annoyed. So I go to sign him up. My husband catches me and asks me what I'm doing. I tell him the truth, and while he was thinking it was a little funny, he told me to stop. I told him, no, I'm not going to do that. I found while doing this, it became a lot easier to be around him, because I know in some small way, karma is getting him. My husband is telling me not to be so petty and to just move on. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for telling my wife she embarrassed everyone during our son's birthday dinner? My wife, 42 female, currently works as a part-time nurse. I, 42 male, work in the local police department as a detective. We have two kids, a son, 12, and a daughter, 13. My wife has started wanting to save money and it's starting to annoy the kids. We were giving them $10 a week for allowance, but my wife decided to lower it to $3 because she thought $10 was too much. I told her that I think this amount is too low, but she disagrees. Another example is she buys meals to bring to restaurants to be microwaved. We've gotten looks before and it's always turned down. It results in her making a fuss and being asked to leave. I have told her that she needs to stop and that when we go out, I am fine with her ordering whatever she wants. I normally pay for the groceries, the bills, and food when we eat out. My wife helps with small payments and buys our kids cheap clothes. My daughter likes to wear designer clothing and I normally will buy the clothes and hear about it from my wife. My son was turning 12 and he wanted to eat out at his favorite steakhouse. I told my wife not to bring any of her meals along to the restaurant. We got to the restaurant and sat down at the table. My wife got up to use the bathroom and we ordered our drinks. When the drinks arrived, we ordered our food and she got a small salad. The waiter came back with a meal and said, Ma'am, we can't warm this up for you. I saw my son and daughter both look embarrassed. I apologized to the waiter. My wife spent the rest of dinner staying silent and wouldn't touch the salad she ordered. When the evening was over, we got home and my wife and I began to argue about it. I told her she was wrong to bring a meal when I asked her not to. She started to argue back that eating out is a waste. I then said she embarrassed everyone, including our kids. Am I the asshole? I didn't want to wait for my wife to get dressed. So my wife and I have been married for a year. She usually takes an extremely long time to get dressed, and if she's not happy with the look, she'll ask me to wait and wear another dress and do the makeup again. So we are always late to events. Today I had to go to my best friend's home for his wedding anniversary, and I told her to get ready on time. I even reminded her like four hours prior and got her a salon appointment. As usual, she was running us late. My friend and his wife were stalling the celebration just for me. I got mad at my wife and told her to find a way to my friend's place herself and that I was leaving without her. She requested for me to wait for her, but I just left without her. She didn't come at all and called me saying she doesn't want to come on her own because she doesn't want all the attention to be on her due to her being late. I told her to do as she pleases and that she needs to be punctual if she wants to come somewhere with me. She started crying and cut the call. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole? I didn't consult my wife about a decision regarding my inheritance. I inherited a house from my parents after their death. I wrote it off in my daughter's name without consulting with my wife. My daughter will get it after she is 21 years old. Until then, it'll be in my guardianship, and in case of my death, the guardianship will be transferred to her godparent or my lawyer. No one except me, my daughter, and my lawyer can access the money within it. In case of her death, my lawyer will be looking into transferring it to someone else. My wife says I should have thought of her first instead of my daughter's godparent. I told her that inheritance is not marital property, and I did not think that it was required of me to consult her about my own inheritance. She was pissed and said that I should be trusting her enough to make such decisions with her. Am I the asshole?
guys. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. Please like and subscribe to see more great videos. See you again.